Greetings, knights and knaves, lords and ladies. Tis I, your Lord Commander, and welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones House Marshal playthrough of the uh, the Godlands here in uh, here in the lands of Westeros. So, uh, the idea for Fridays was to post some kind of For Honor content, uh, but for those of you who saw my embarrassing outburst during our live stream a couple weeks ago, uh, I'm still not quite ready to jump back into the lands of Heathmoor just yet. So I do apologize for those of you who are waiting very eagerly, very patiently, I should add. Spartan, you're one of them. I know you're a huge fan of For Honor. Uh, I do apologize that I keep putting it off, but... You know, I just, the game turned me into somebody I didn't really enjoy seeing, so I do apologize for that. So instead, I decided to record a little bit extra uh, House Marshal content for you guys, and I plan on uploading it today. So without further ado, enjoy a brief recap of what happened last episode, and enjoy the new episode. Allow me to introduce you to Lord Erid of the Godlands. He is Lord Erid of House Marshall, and their motto is the Shields of the West. And the idea is that we were gonna roleplay it to where uh, Lord Erid Marshall of the Godlands, uh, his main adversary are the Ironborn Raiders of the Iron Islands, uh, and especially trying to move their way north, the uh, the Marshals of the Godlands will be able to, uh, to stop them and intercept their fleets uh, en route to their targets and uh, stop them before they can begin their raiding parties against our liege lord and our va fellow vassals. Strength and Bloodline. The strength of House Marshal. We are now er Lord Arid, the Bloodfather of the God of the Godlands. Let's uh, let us send our proposal. Wonderful. Alliance formed with the Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my sister Alison in holy matrimony. Now let me see if I cannot fabricate some claims on uh, on some neighboring land. Pregnancy? Oh, wonderful. Oh, I'm being raided. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, get out of my lands. I'm going to chase them off with my 5,000 men. Oh, my daughter and heir. Praise Garth Greenhand. Alisane has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Uh, Tiala Marshall. There we go. There we go. Keep, keep sending in the reinforcements, lads. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get out of my lands, you rap bastards. Just the fact that they had the audacity to uh, jump into my lands. This is why we are the Godlands. We are the first line of defense against the uh, the onslaught of the the Reavers and Raiders of the Iron Islands. And every time they come at us, we will always push them off. Be gone. Never again sully my, uh, my lands with your filth. Next time you are caught on my lands, I will execute every Ironborn uh, raider that I find on my lands. Yeah, let me catch your Ironborn asses out here again, I swear to God. Very nice. But the Godlands stand firm, always. Call to war. I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Liberty War. Of course, I will uh, join the Liberty War for the North. Oh, what's in a name? My love, let us name him Erin after you. I guess I have a son. It's Erid, son of Erid. Wonderful. A wonderful name. Yeah, caught their asses. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I got disfigured. What the fuck? Oh, I have an eye patch now. Lady Alisane had been murdered. I gained the trait one eye. There was no love lost between us. Finally, I am free to start my life anew. What? That sucks. I guess my wife died in battle. Oh, no. That's so sad. Everything is just terrible. This is such a cursed playthrough. Like, how did this happen? This is for my wife! We won the war led by Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale against Lord Gendry of Mudgrave. Damn, so my daughter is my new player Anne. That's interesting. All right, time to find ourselves another spouse. Oh, I can marry a Stark. Ah, oh, damn. I kind of feel weird doing that as a 20-year-old man, and she's literally a one-year-old child. But... Fuck it. Send proposal. Let's see, what they, let's see what they have to say. Very nice. Greetings, my charming vassal. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. You will be betrothed to my daughter, Gillian. Sign, Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. All right, hold on. The memories remain. Oh, Elrich, no, now my best friend died. God damn it. Of course. Oh, no. The fiends. 
They think they can move through my lines with impunity. I think the fuck not, lads. The fact that it keeps raising, like, 60 different armies. Kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I thought, you cowards. Get lost. The fact that the good brothers would even try it. Where are the good brothers, anyway? Are they here? Ah, the good brothers of Hammerhorn. Interesting. Lord Gorold. The fiend. He really thought he would try it. Yeah, I believe they, uh, their raiders went ahead and, uh, and ran off, if I'm being honest. Nice try, though. They really tried it. Four months left. Past autonomous vassals. Ah, nice. Does that mean the, uh, the faction's done? Yeah. Because they, they already, uh, he already dropped the, uh, the crown authority from high to, to autonomous, so I love that. I uh, can designate a, uh, guardian for my daughter, Tiala. Uh, it shall be me. I will raise my own daughter, as always. Oh, the Tower of Joy. I am called by Eddard to join him on his journey to the Tower of Joy to rescue Lyanna Stark, prisoner of Rhaegar Targaryen. The danger will be grave, but honor demands that I not back down. Ah, oh, damn. I cannot turn away from this. I stand with Eddard. Very interesting. I can hold the grand melee. Don't necessarily want to do that, though. Oh, the Tower of Joy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. Arthur, the Sword of the Morning Dane. I stand with Lord Paramount Eddard, looking upon the knights of Eris's King's Guard, their armor shining in the warm afternoon sun. They are Sir, Sir Geralt Hightower, the White Bull, Sir Oswell Went, and Sir Arthur Dane, the Sword of the Morning, the finest swordsmen in the realm. The ruined tower which they guard looms large behind them. Looking around at the faces of the men that accompany me, I notice fear and apprehension. I myself feel such a way, for who could hope to defeat such renowned warriors? Lord Paramount Eddard steps forward, his blade bared. Hold, says the White Bull, halting my lord's movements. We will not bar your way. The realm has bled enough. I have no further appetite for slaughter. His sword remains sheathed. What will he find within? I'm so curious. So they're not going to fight like in the uh, like in the story. That's interesting. They're like, ah, nah, we're good. Ah, oh, no way. Did we win? <gasps> the Aaron's won. Oh, shit. Lady Alyssa of the Moon Gates, King John of House Aaron, King John Aaron of the Iron Throne. Ah, oh, damn. Son of John Aaron and Lady Lysa. That's interesting. He has no, he has one sibling, Lady Jane of the Vale, but she died. Stillborn. Ah, oh, that's crazy. So the Targaryens lost, but it wasn't even to the, uh, the damn Baratheons. That's crazy. And he still ended up marrying uh, Cersei Lannister. That's interesting. So now the entire realm's being run by a, <laughs> by a fucking child. An actual child. That's hilarious. Oh no. The, the pitch has given rise to peasant rabble targeting Lord Paramount Eddard. Interesting. The pitch. Where's the pitch? I wonder. Ah, the pitch. Wonder if I can't uh, send my troops. Does this count as like uh, ally land? Can I not put? Nope, cannot. Can... That's unfortunate. How interesting. I wonder if I can't send my troops up north. Let us raise our men at arms here. Nice. We only have 458 men at arms. That's interesting. Let us head to the pitch. And see what happens. It's quite a distance to go. But, you know, it is what it is. My liege is war. Defending against uh, Lord Donal of of Dark Harrow. Where is that at? What? Oh, Lord Paramount Roberts of the Stormlands. I see. Ah, Lord Selwyn, the Evenstar of Tarth. Interesting. And ten other allies. That's crazy. Yeah, so there's a, there's a lot going on right now. That's nutsos. Let's see if I can't send my men north, though, and deal with this uh, peasant rabble if, they, if they're still out and about. 
Interesting. It seems like there is a, a territory debate going on within uh, the land of the Rills. It's pretty interesting. Oh boy. Meet peers. Off to play. My daughter and heir, Tiala, has been invited to a gathering of peers by Lord John. Of Alpine. Interesting. The car stacks. Alright. Have a good time. Have fun. Stay safe. What is happening here? Peasant uprising? Oh, I think the fuck not, lads. How is there a peasant uprising? I don't understand. Is it my peasants? No, because that's in the pitch. Who the fuck are these lads? Neutral army. What is happening right now, dude? Like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? Offer to join war. There we go. I have joined the war of the peasant uprising. There will be no revolts in my lands. We will have order. Law and order will have its day. And you will remember that. I am your liege lord. You will fucking listen or I'll hang you for traitors. Lord Hrothgar the Ruthless against Daisy Pisswater. Daisy Pisswater. Interesting. That's the, that's the fucking the peasant leader that they chose. Her last name is Pisswater. Alright. That's fine. Disband all. Interesting. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Nice. And just like that, <laughs> the peasant uprising in the guardlands has been put down. Nice. And my child has returned from her playdates. Who are these lads? Oh, okay. And they're lads of the north. Of the rills, it seems. Bottom run. <laughs> runny bottom, eh? <laughs> He's got a runny bottom, doesn't he? The rills. The rills. The barrelands. The guardlands. The neck. King's course, Edgewood. Grey down, stony shore. I love that. Such a great universe. Nice. So we are winning in this uh, this liberty war against uh, these these lesser lords down south. Hostile armies, yeah. God damn, we've gotten a lot of gold over the years. Not bad. So we can certainly use that to our advantage uh, in order to size up our army just a tad bit more. I'm thinking one here, one here, and one here. It still puts us over 100 gold. I love that. How is my council looking? Everything seems to be in order for the time being. Queen Alyssa of the Iron Throne. What happened to, uh, what's-his-face? The boy. What happened to John? I don't understand. What the fuck is happening in, in the Seven Kingdoms right now? How did this happen? The Wayne Woods took over. Oh, John Aaron, son of the Queen. Okay. And his betrothed, Ala. Buckwell, interesting. King Dennis, the darling of the Vale of the Iron Throne. Interesting, very interesting. She's the one who holds all of these titles. That's crazy. She's uh, from the Vale. Very interesting. Right now, the uh, the Seven Kingdoms are being run by the Vale. Ah, the finer points of diplomacy. Today, my daughter Tiala was taught a lesson in vassal management by Edwald. It was quite a complicated course, necessary, but perhaps a bit beyond Tiala's grasp. I must let things take their time, Tiala says. Only by being patient and letting my subjects work at their own pace may I rule wisely. Tiala seems unaware that some subjects would willfully waste her time. Um. Either way, forgiveness is a, is a virtue above all others. I can declare war on the neck. For Lord Eld uh, Edward's claim. Interesting. Lordship of the Peatlands. The Peatlands. Sure. Fuck it. Let us, uh, let us declare war on the neck for the Peatlands. Let us summon our armies. We can move our rally points over here. Raise all, lads. Raise all. Let's get to work, lads. Oh, that's a temple. Interesting. And I have no allies to speak for me as of right now. It's quite sad. Ooh, they have a lot of troops heading my way. And we shall for uh charge out to meet them. Can I uh oh whoops. We ride out to meet the bastards, lads. Come on, get there, lads. Go on. 
Stop them in their tracks. Beautiful. It's done for. Very nice. Your glory is widely known. Very nice. Battlefield Knighthood. After the battle in Boar Spring, our Lord Albert of Faded Keep. Of course. Be knighted, my friends. Very nice. Nice. A smashing victory right off the bat. Not bad. Alright, let's take our asses to war, lads. Time to cut down their lands a tad bit. I'm gonna chop away at the neck just a little at a time. Very interesting. As for the claims, lads. For the claims, obviously. Fever. <laughs> Very nice. Certainly not bad, lads. Certainly not bad. Oh, no. A bog body found. The wars of the realm have brought me and my army to the neck. It is a green hell, aye. But nonetheless, we find ourselves here. Today, we have made camp in, on a peat bog. As I walk through camp, I come across several soldiers crowding around a hole in the ground. I push through the crowd and see them standing over a sever severely tanned body. It's dressed in ancient regal clothing. His hair... His red hair is uncouth but parted so that the seven-pointed star tattoo on his forehead is visible. The rope that he was hanged with is still attached to his neck. Our local guide comes over and is not surprised to see the body. He tells us that sometimes the bogs of the neck can preser can perser yeah, can preserve I was thinking persevere, that's not the word. Can preserve bodies from long ago. Pointing to the body in the hole, he tells us that he was an Andal warlord killed while trying to conquer the Neck thousands of years ago. Some of the men around us hoot with laughter, thinking our guide is telling a jape, but he is dead serious. Very interesting. While interesting, a body is a body. Bury it and leave it. Yeah, move on, lads. We've got shit to do, lads. And siege done. Boom, baby. And we've taken some prisoners. I love that. Not bad. We're at 55%. Let's keep it moving, lads. War is well underway. Very nice. Out here ransoming our people as well. Not bad. Six months left. In this siege, at least. It does not seem that there are any other <laughs> major armies on the move. Yeah, they have 900 men somewhere. Ah, the Karstarks. They were on the move as well. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Very nice. Now we are working on our diplomacy. That way we can get the uh, diplomacy perk that allows us to uh, offer alliances. We can only have one proposed alliance at a time, I believe. Uh, but either way, should be quite interesting. Aha. Enemies. Let's move off to war, lads. They have 1,400 men. Let's cut that number down. Just a tad bit, shan't we? Nice. Siege one, prisoners taken. I love that. Very nice. Let's move out, lads. Move to positions. Yeah, Mirkwood is under siege. Those those holdings belong to my son. How dare you? Rap bastards. Yeah. Cut their asses, lads. Oh, it's Dunzos. Easy peasy. Oh, no. The peasant revolt in the north. Lord Paramount Eddard is being attacked by leader Brittany. Damn. Where in the north? Ah, oh, no. Yeah, the peasants. But it's alright. It looks like uh, the Boltons are moving. Looks like the cast. Ah, oh, there we go. First army of Darset. Very nice. Yeah, the Starks are moving in. That's alright. That is A-OK. -okay. Let us move back to our objective then, lads. Time to head to Mud Wall. Ooh, a harsh judgment. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my daughter and heir, Tiala, what she thought. She responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Aye, the punishment did indeed not fit the crime. Yeah, I wanted to be a just, you know, a just ruler. She may be the, uh, the only, only person in a, in a millennia and a thousand years to truly deserve... Uh, a position at court, truly. And damn it, I'll make sure that she deserves it. <laughs> nice. The battle is still very well underway, and another 600 troops are trying to, uh, to raise against us. It's quite interesting. Uh, 30 days left in this siege, 5 months left in this one. 
A traveling maester, Davos, has come to keep has come to my keep seeking a place to stay for a short while before resuming his journey to the court of the lord he will be serving. Any maester of the citadel is welcome in my halls. Enjoy your stay, my friend. Please peruse our libraries. Most of us can't read, so it's fine. The Ravenry. Whilst walking the corridors of my keep today, I ran into my guest, Davos, and began speaking with him. During our conversation, I noticed he had a, a link of black iron on his chain. I brought this up to him, and we began talking at length about Ravenry. A truly illuminating conversation. Interesting. This may end up turning into something. Not sure what. Davos has come before me before he returns to his journey, thanking me profusely for, his, for my generosity and hospitality. He further stated that he would be sure to tell his new lord and his colleagues at the Citadel of the breadth and depth of my scholarly insights. Clearly, I have left a good impression. A well-known dynasty for five years. Nice. We are still uh, obscure, bordering on insignificant, so <laughs> we've, got, we've got some work to do. Just a little bit. Very nice. More prisoners. Escaped! My prisoner Lord Ryan has Lord Ryan has escaped my dungeons. The guards have nothing to say for their defense, but the damage is already done nonetheless. Curse you, Ryan! That's right, I don't fucking in. Jojen Pete. Interesting. Yeah, get lost. Gwyn Pete. Oh never mind. Yeah, there we go. Start ransoming some people. Get lost. I don't want to see ya. Ooh. No, sir. I think not. Yeah, they do have quite a few numbers there. Nice. My siege battle is won. Yeah, we're gonna box them in. Declare me regent. Who are you even? Lady Ashlyn. Greetings, my charming liege. The realm needs a secure plan should you be indisposed, and I'm sure we agree that I am the best possible candidate for a future regent. I ask that you confirm my natural position publicly. Signed, Lady Ashlyn of Cyprus Rising. Uh, pathetic succession score. Uh, no. Who Who is my regent, anyway? Lady Dacey. Why are you my regent? 13. She's got the best succession score, I guess. Promote authority. Let's do that. Swell armies. While you are my regent, at least. Go on. We caught them. Go on! Yeah, march, you bastards! The Battle of Greycran. Very nice. Our Captain Lord Jarrett had his skull cracked open by the by the berserker Lady Gwyn. Oh, no. War declared on liege. Queen Alyssa is being attacked by Lord Paramount Robert. Interesting. Lord Paramount Robert of the Stormlands has risen up against Queen Alyssa of the Iron Throne in the war for Lord Paramount Robert's claim on the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne. I must choose to stand with Queen Alyssa of the Iron Throne, join Lord Robert of the Stormlands, or stay neutral and let the tide of time guide my decision. Lord Paramount Eddard has chosen to support the rebels. Fuck. All right. Time to join the rebels, lads. The realm at war. With the war unfold, I must now decide how many forces I shall commit. Uh, he already gets enough. He's fine. I am in the midst of a war myself. So. Warden Alana has escaped. Curse you, Alana. Curses. Ah, uh, no. My lady Cheryl was, uh, was imprisoned. Oh man, crazy. Leon, welcome. Very nice. Nice. At the Battle of Grey Cran, Master Sherrit of New Stonehands. Oh, he was uh, he was wounded in battle. Look at him, he's all beat the fuck up. Uh, yes, be knighted, you old man, you old fat. Nice. I can declare twelve wars. Lord Paramount Edmure of the Vale, Paramount Roderick of the Iron Islands, Lord Brandon of Last Stands. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's uh, that's the Umbers. 
Yeah, that's the Umbers of the North. Why would I want to declare war on the Umbers? That's interesting. Uh, Ruin, Chieftain Tordmund, Chieftain Devin Sealskinner. Interesting. Roos Bolton. Interesting. Edgewood, the Maya, North Beach. Ah, the Maya. I could conquer the whole neck. I think it's just the Maya, but it says the neck. Yeah, I can conquer the whole neck. High Lordship of the Neck. That's interesting. That will be next, I believe. To the sensible Arid. In a few days' time, my obnoxious vassal, Lord Ryan, will travel through Morinland. If you, if you orchestrate an ambush and capture him, I will reward you generously. If you accept my offer, you will get half the money now and the other half when you turn over Lord Ryan. If he should die in the fray, I will shed no tears, but I will not pay you for his corpse. I trust that the words on this parchment will stay between us. I look forward to your reply. Signed, the Lord Paramount Edmure of the Vale. Interesting. Ah, oh, that sucks. Only because... Only because... Uh, I'm not the type to, like, set ambushes. However, I'm not quite at war with the Vale either, and seeing as the Vale, the North, and the Stormlands are all kind of, like, besties right now, uh, fine. I'll fucking do it. Let's see why not. I imprisoned Lord Ryum. Very nice. Paid 145. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, uh, Edmure of the Vale. What the fuck? Oh, all of this land is the Vale. What the fuck is happening right now, dude? I'm so lost. Holy shit. What the fuck is happening right now? Can I, uh, can I grant you... I can't send you the, the man, can I? Alright, hold on. Is he, uh, is he currently in my dungeons? He sure is, hell yeah. I'm gonna banish his ass to the wall. He wants freedom. He is a lord. I can't banish him to the wall. Alright. I wonder if I can execute him. Let me ransom his ass. For a hook... Ransom. Lady Mira of Mudwall. Interesting. Nice. Here come the stacks. Very nice. Oh. More peasants. Dude, they literally just got here. Now they're turning it back around already. The fucking peasant uprisings, dude. That's crazy. The pitch. They're really pissed off, dude. I wonder what's going on. That's, uh, that's quite odd. But whatever. Whatever. Come on, get there quickly. Yeah, cut their asses. Nice. This bat this war's gotta be nearly done, dude. Like, come on now. Very interesting. Alright. And honestly, like the the number of wars we can declare is fucking atrocious. Uh Bay of Seals, Hard Home, Bay of Ice, Walrus Bay, the Ruins. Uh, the Vale, the Iron Islands, Lord Brandon of Last Lands, that's the Umbers, Roos Bolton of the Dreadfort, Hellman of Edgewood, where is Edgewood? Up here. No. Uh, Arsa of the Mile, of the Maya, sorry, and then North Beach, interesting. The Maya, probably, I, I would gladly take, uh, the whole, the whole lands of the Maya. High Lordship of the Neck, yeah. Interesting. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Eddard Stark won his war against the, uh... What's it called? Against the, uh, the Peasant Uprising in the North. That's perfect. Right, let us continue our assault on the lands of the, uh, of the Neck. Commander promoted, my marshal, Lord Carl, has been showing off a promising new recruit. She may not be of as noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name I swear that Tiala is someone that you would want on your side. Tiala Icemark. Very nice. Uh, very well. Tiala shall serve me. She's named after my daughter and my heir, after all. How could I say no to that? Oh, very nice. 100%, lads. Let us, uh, let us finish this siege battle. Eight days. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Siege battle one. Prisoners taken. Now we enforce our demands. Guardlander war of Lord Ed Edward's claim on the Lordship of the Peatlands. 
Yeah, we are the Godlanders. I love that. To the handsome Arid, peace be with you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Perfect. So be it. Now let's disband our troops. All of you, go home. Yeah, be gone. Now look at that. We've got this random strip of land right here in the neck. Very nice. And now we declare war on uh, on the mire. Yeah, for high lordship of the neck. Raise all my armies, lads. Oh no. That was kind of a mistake, I think. I should have... Uh... Hold on, hold on. Disband all armies. There we go. And now we can raise all our armies here. Wonderful. Smarter decision, smarter decision. It, it looks like they're all just going to join in one army. That's interesting. The Grand Army of the, uh, of the Godlands. That's amazing. <laughs> the Grand Army of Godlanders. Let's go, lads. Very nice. Hi, tier. Oh, my counselor Sherrit died. I literally just fucking knighted him. That's so sad. Oh, he was my spy master. Fuck. Oh, no. All right, fine. Lord Lonel, you can uh, you can take over now. Speaking of my spouse. Yeah, she's 11 years old now. Not bad. All right. Nice. We're just moving right towards them. They're not moving. This is interesting. Nice. My child has returned. Perfect. They're just going to sit there and wait for us to come at them. Come on. We're faster than you are, lads. Yeah. Cut their asses. Nice. My Captain Tiala Icemark, our new captain. That's interesting. Oh, and look at that. Defensive negotiations, lads. Can propose one alliance without a marriage. Let's fucking go, lads. And now let us propose an alliance, eh? Uh, the question is, with whom? The Barrowlands and House Dustin, 3,400 troops. Not bad. I would love another northern house to join us. The Keystones, perhaps? House Lock? I don't think so. What about the Mandalays? 4,700 troops uh, from White Harbor. Uh, I'm down for the Barrowlands, actually. Let's see if I can't propose an alliance. Oh, no. It's because I'm at war. That's fine. Uh, let's arrange a marriage, though. What about uh, my daughter and heir to your... I'm not a commoner. What the fuck? Who is his heir? His primary heir? Dustin. They don't want Dustin. Oh, yeah, they do. What about a matrilineal? Ah, oh, no, definitely not. Well, worth a try. That's all right. Let us continue with our conflict and not be distracted by uh, intrigues of elsewhere. <laughs> nice. Nice. We're winning, winning this war against the... Uh, uh, what's it called? What was that sound? As my men and I trudge through one of the thousand swamps in the neck, we are wearily, we rarely enter a dense thicket. All around us are fallen logs, enormous trees, twisted vines, and ferns that dwarf men. We cannot see through to the other side. As we slowly progress down the path, one of the forward men shouts back, I think someone's here! I stomp onward through the water, only to see the men ahead of me fall to the ground. Arrows lodge through their torsos. I call my remaining men into defensive positions around me as what appears to be an army of Kranger men approaches through the woods. Damn. War declared to the handsome Arid. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. It seems that there is no recourse for our disputes other than to settle it on the battlefield. Lord Krangerman of the Krangerman, Rally the troops, lads. Oh, you're 580 men, dude? Like, what? It's worth a try. Worry not. It was worth a try. A valiant effort, but I have 5,000 troops with me, lad. Oi. Ambush in the bog. I gained 15 from this. To the charming Arid. May you live in harmony and contentment. I know that I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Yeah. Obviously. What the fuck? That was odd. Alright, let's split off our men. Leave only those who need to uh, to besiege the town. And the rest of us will march off to war. Try and cut off their forces. 
insistence. My daughter Tiala has been harboring a secret affection for Theon. House Blazewater Watch. For some time. However, when she finally confessed her feelings, Theon responded harshly. Tiala still pursues him, even though ever as doggedly, however. I don't want her to become chaste. Uh, I'd rather her be stubborn than chaste. She's literally my heir. Like, she's got to inherit my, my lands and my claims. Yeah, they're going to try and attack my, uh, my besieging forces. But here we come at their backs, lads. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Mighty reversal, lads. Very nice. Oh, no. Okay. Come on. We need these rolls to be a little more in our favor. There we go. Damn. Very nice. That battle was a little tough. Yeah, they, we got 300 losses out of that. That's tough. That's alright, though. That is A-OK. -okay. Ransom accepted. Perfect. 20 days left in this siege, and the first step shall be done. Oh, my counselor Carl died. No! Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, he was my marshal. He was doing so good, too. Uh, Tiala Icemark, yes, you've, uh, you've trained quite a, quite a replacement, as it seems, in his, uh, in his lifetime. This swampy, bloody neck, dude, like, Jesus. Ah, oh, no, another assault. Rally the troops, lads. Ah. Oh. Another 580 fucking men. Lord Hrothgar the Ruthless was maimed by the, oh, has maimed the enemy commander, okay. Oh god, everything's happening all at once right now. Armory breaking. Shit, those accursed children. My daughter Tiala and her compatriot Eddard were caught red-handed having snuck into the armory. Don't they know that weapons are dangerous? Eddard had hurt himself, but fortunately Tiala ran outside and grabbed the nearest adult, admitting everything they'd done. Tiala looks genuinely distraught. I don't think she will be dishonest ever again. Uh, yeah, it's good that you admitted what you did. Silly little child. Jesus. Sprouting interest. A merchant has sent me samples of seeds, plants she claims are good for health and mind. I must admit, I have little experience in nurturing plants, but how hard could it be? Uh, yeah, let's do a private garden. Fuck it. Might as well. Yeah, these wild men of the neck, dude, like crazy. Yeah, ambush in the bog. Yeah, we've done it again, lads. Still two years left in this, uh, in this siege battle. Dude, a fuck another one? Good god, dude. Yeah, nice try, dude. Jesus, man. These, uh... Another one? Dog, come the fuck on. They're just gonna keep wearing us down. Or at least they're gonna keep trying, like, fuck. My god. Dude, for fuck's sake. The the swamps of the neck, they really refuse. Yeah, let's knight Ebert. They really refuse to be tamed, don't they? Egon's invasion. King Egon, a Targaryen claimant, has landed in Lordship of Sedgemoor with the exo with the exiled Lord John and ten thousand men under command of Harry the Gold of the Golden Company. Both of these guys are dead. Lord John of Nestridge. Slain by Walton in a duel. What the fuck, dude? Banners will be called swords sworn and oaths made as the stranger returns to the Seven Kingdoms. The young griff of Targaryen. No, I'm not interested. Oi. Everything is happening all at once. Literally all the time. Another fucking assault, dude. Like you're lying. These wild men of the neck, they truly do not want to be tamed. Yeah, get lost, you damned fools. Dude, for fuck's sake. It's like every five seconds. Yeah, I will knight Davith. Good, 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 good. Oh my god, so many victories. 
That's fantastic. Tiala comes of age. With her coming of age, my tuition of Tiala is at an end. Always the clever child, Tiala proved time and time again over the course of her studies that she had a natural affinity for careful planning and more than a little misdirection. Now it is harder to say, however. Now it is harder to say, however. Said that a little weird, my bad. Everything that is tasked of her is done by others before she gets to it, and she never tells petty lies the way she used to. Perhaps she was not as clever as she seemed, after all. Gained the trait Elusive Shadow and Trained Fighter. That's amazing. Now my heir needs a spouse. Martin Blackwood. Of House Blackwood. Their strength is far inferior to ours. The Good Brothers, the Ironborns. Riverlanders. This is by relevance. What about Alliance Power? The Ironborn. Interesting. Ormond's High Tower. About prestige gain. Brandon Karstark. Very interesting indeed. Uh, I'd rather marry her off to a uh, Greyjoy, if I'm being honest. Imagine that. I mean, he's a six-year-old and she's 16. There's a 10-year age difference. But they are, they are going to accept a matrilineal marriage as well. So the Iron Islands are going to be inherited by the, uh, the children of uh, Tiala Marshall. Send proposal. Alliance formed with Lord Paramount Roderick of the Iron Islands. To the sensible Arid, I gladly accept your propo betrothal proposition. Your daughter and heir, Tiala, will be, be betrothed to my son, Thormor. Signed, Lord Paramount Roderick of the Iron Islands. Excellent! I love that. I also have an available perk. You can call your ally Lord Paramount Roderick of the Iron Islands. Yeah, the Godlander Conquest of the High Lordship of the Neck. Call to war. Bring your ass, Roderick. To the handsome Arid. Of course I shall join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of the Iron Islands. Sign, Lord Paramount Roderick of the Iron Islands. Excellent! Bring your ass, my friend. There is raiding to be done to the sensible Arid. Oh yeah, that's the uh... Very nice. Commander imprisoned. I love that. And just like that, lads, we enforce our Lord Jory, the current holder, will retain the Lordship of the Neck after the war. Alright, that's fine. Enforce demands. So be it. Nice. <laughs> so now we've got this random strip of land here in the center of all this. Disband all. Thank you for your time. We are above our domain limit. So we need to uh, siphon off the Ma. Shall grant it to a local Krangerman noble. Very nice. Of House Meyer. Very nice. Welcome. Welcome, dear lad. Vali is no longer my antiquarian or my master of the hunt. <laughs> That's sad. Daisy, you're pretty average at this job. Tiala Marshall, my daughter, you're pretty average at this job. Why don't you give it a try? Tristan Ironwater, you are excellent at this job. Do that. Master of the horse. Oh, let me pause. Hold on. I'm known for my dedication to my faith. I love that. Uh, Tiala Marshall, she is excellent at this job as well. Master of the hunt. Tiala Icemark. Very nice. Sinetchel. Tiala Marshall. Very interesting. And we are winning this war for the claim of the uh, the Seven Kingdoms. That's interesting. Yeah, very interesting indeed. There's not many enemies left, it seems. And the Targaryen host is still here of Essos. Oh, he's 18. He's an old-ass man now. That's crazy. I'm 34. I started this campaign when I was 16. For God's sake. That's crazy. Alright, now let us see if we cannot uh, propose an alliance with somebody. Their strength is vastly <laughs> inferior to ours. Uh, I kind of hate that. But I would rather have another uh, another man of the north at my back, if I'm being honest, than some, uh, some southerner. So, House Dustin of the Barrowlands. I don't see why not. Let us, uh, let us 
Yeah, join our houses. I don't have a hook on him, but let's uh let's see what he says. I'm sure he will uh, agree, but yeah, alliance formed with Lord William of the Barrowlands to the handsome Erid. I am honored by your by your request, and I would be glad to call you an ally. Signed, Lord William of the Barrowlands. Marvelous. Freda Goodman and Roderick Flint. Interesting. My guest of House Flint. Shields of the West. Roderick Flint. What the fuck? That's like the, the OG guy. That's interesting. I could hold the Grand Melee. That's interesting. I could go to war with Dorne. Merrick of Blackstripe. Aw, oh, dude, I could just go to war with everybody. Like, for what? I don't understand. Lord Darian of Driftmark. Darren Valarian. That's interesting. Oh, man. Dude, look at all the wars I can declare. 28 wars. Why? For what? John Lon of Sharp Points. Where is that at? Oh, that's all the way down here. What the fuck, dude? What is this? I don't understand. There's just so many goddamn... Wars I can declare for some fucking reason. Oh, I'm invited to the Grand Melee of, uh, of Barrowton. Time to break some bones, lads. Yeah. I arrive at the grounds of the Grand Melee outside, alongside warriors from across the realm. Some of them seem little more than green boys, hardly able to swing their swords, while others bear the scars of many a campaign and battle. The one thing that unites all of them is courage. The melee ring is not for the faint of heart, but bravery alone will not carry the day. I intend to make my foes rue the day they stepped in the ring with me. For glory! Though I stepped into the ring full of confidence, to my bitter shame I was eliminated in the early rounds of the melee. What? Whatever, I'm gonna finish watching. Lord Gregor the Good of Ironrath won the entire melee, so that's pretty decent. My betrothed can marry. Very nice. Lady Jill Jillian of the North. Very nice. Send proposal. Greetings, my charming vassal. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my daughter, Jillian, in holy matrimony. May your union bring happiness and ful fulfillment. Signed, Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. Excellent. I can still declare 28 wars. I can declare 33 wars. Dear God, so many wars. Lord Damon the Gentle of Ashmark, interesting. I could go after the goddamn Lannisters now. Boy, interesting. I have no idea what the fuck is happening, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here, lads. That was definitely very interesting. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, thus far. So keep an eye out for much more, and I will see you guys next time.